is uh, uh, actually used for storing the extended attributes of users. The other attributes like login, or login, hot one, these attributes are actually stored in the user. This is security password. CO, it's a security user. So here you see snap for each and every user that is a span sign at C security user file. And here you have you see for snap user, snap is a default user. It's uh, admin equal to false or login is false. That means snap user cannot log in from telnet or SSP telnet or uh, FTP and HTTP is false. System is not. System is not. That means he cannot log in anywhere. And uh, okay. And HC security limits. This file defines the resource limitations for the users, like number of open files, the CPU memory values, the core file size, maximum file size. F size is the maximum file size. Here, each and every user should have a they are, should have their own stanza. If not, their values are taken from the uh, attributes are taken from the default stanza. So here, if I create a user called Raja, and if I don't specify the values for the user, then the Raja user, he will take all the attributes from this default stanza. Okay. And uh, other files called HC security environment. This is basically for storing the user wide uh, environment there is one more file called hc environment this is used for a system wide environment here we define the the part variable tz that is the time zone and lang language location part analysis part odm yeah you know this is the place where your odm files are stored okay there are two environment files. One is HC environment and uh, one is HC environment and the other one is HC security environment. HC environment is for the system wide environment and HC security environment is for the user uh, specific environment. Like this, you got another file called HC profile. This is for setting the profile, like uh, for setting the Mail parameters, terminals, you can also set the UMass control. Okay, so that's called HC profile. This is, this is mainly for you know, setting the additional environment settings for the whole system. And for a specific user, you have another file called you can specify your own uh, 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 environment settings. That's a user specific. So under every user's home directory, let's take uh, under every user's home directory, you see a file called dot profile. This is a user specific. So you do as a user, I don't have any permission to change etc profile, but I can change my dot profile. So I can set, I can put my own environment settings in my DAR profile. Okay. So there are two environment uh, related files: HC environment and HC security environment. And, uh, okay, here it is. And there are two profile files: one for system, that's HC profile, and one for user specific, that is under your home directory. The file is called DAR profile. Okay. Now let's see. Let's take these two files. There are two files called mkuser.default and mkuser.sys. These files are used for the creation of a user. This file mkuser.default. And what is this? Okay. That is not allowed for uh, regular users. So I came out of the Raja shell and uh, I know I'm in root shell. So 
basic CAD and the mkz.default it got two stanzas one for admin user and one for user that is a regular user we are not talk, going to talk about admin user that's a different time and for it, it this uh, this stands I know it defines default uh, uh, parameters for every user so as a, if while creating a user if you don't define a primary group or group set or shell or home directory those values are taken from the nkuser.default and okay they are taken from nkuser.default but who sets who creates this home directory and who does all these things who puts the values and the etc password etc security password so these things are done by a script called mkuser.sys okay this mkuser.sys is a script which does the creation of users by adding entries into etc password by creating a home directory setting the ownership and see over here it creates directory it creates the it uses chgrp ch1 for setting the permissions ownership and uh, so it's the permission over here and it even copies the default dot profile from etsy security to 